What I'm about to show you is part of the next stage of, uh, of uh, the nuclear power process where I want to get some of the uh, uranium that's way up the top here and take it over to where I've got the base, the, the location set up for running my nuclear power. Um, so it's a high up location and there's many ways. You've seen me uh, previously, I made railway lines that climbed up overstepping it up over over distances but uh, a lot of people use what they call a corkscrew uh, for their railways which is basically a spiraling corkscrew that goes up of railway line and that uh, allows you to vertically climb a train very easily um, we're gonna do one of those here uh, there is a technique for building it I'm going to show you that technique now uh, it's very straightforward and then um, after that, I'm going to go off and actually, rather than just build a corkscrew, just smack bang in the middle of the ground uh, and use foundations, I'm going to use this pillar to create a corkscrew. So you can already see I've started to set some foundations in place to help me align it. So the way we do it is, uh, here's our, uh, you got to imagine, this is our train that's going to come in here and we're going to wrap around this center here so the corkscrew is always works in a principle um, the minimum size of a corkscrew is the minimum turn distance of a uh, train line which is a radius of three squares and to show you what I mean by that here's our train line if we ran the train line up to the halfway of that one and then we run it over to the halfway of this one, we've got that perfect straight corner that's going on. And if we come over to here, once again, it continues to curve correctly. So all I have to do now is to elevate this as we go. So the magic formula is, and there's a couple of ways you can do it, but basically using the one meter ramps you go out three which is this and up one four meter foundation every turn around so we do here oops that one that one will be two and we'll have our uh, oops sorry get my right hot bar going so many hot bars sometimes I get confused and then this one will be like so now let's repeat so here's my train line coming in just like before and we get to the halfway point on the train line uh, so sometimes you have to just get on different angles and then you come over to here and it's the same point you put your halfway on the foundation and you, you can see it's correct because it's pointing evenly straight on the foundation for the next distance here's the next one here and then we go over here and then Here's the next one here and as you can imagine over here you obviously can't put these up the whole principle is uh, you do this every uh, you have a, there's many ways you could do it but this is the realistic way a lot of people do it is they support off the center foundation um, that's not to say uh, and like so the next one would be here so we'll just do that just to get that full circle so I can show you what I mean but there are other ways you could do it so, and there's the train line to here and the whole point of this is that our vehicle I don't have, oh, hold on. Let's just get rid of my radar tower. That'll give me some beacons. Our train comes through here. 
and you can see it's gonna it's not gonna hit the one above it and it goes around and around and around uh, it's up to you if, if you think from your point of view that hey that's not uh, very immersive I don't believe that well what about uh, you could do walls instead of having the the, the center column coming out so for instance oops we know the next one needs to be uh, the next one up I believe there Let's just have a look. It needs to be in line with this, so that's it there. Uh, so you could have a, uh, for instance, a two meter foundation here, and you could put the uh, the one meter ramp here, and the train line to here. Yeah, same process again. And you could just keep doing that and have the trains. So instead of using the archways these supports like this you could use pretend that this is your structure all the way up and have the circle um the circle going like that uh and you just continue repeating this process three out one up so so to get to the next elevation it's three out and one up from this one one four meter foundation and then you put your ramp there and you get that nice incline and you just continue to process all the way around until you get to where you want to go at the top. Think about before you start where your train line's coming in from because that will dictate where you start uh, and where you're going to exit. So this one, my exit would probably be off this way and out that way. If you wanted to go that way, you would have to, say, bring the train line coming in the opposite direction and run the spiral the other way. But uh, that's all there is to it. That's how... Uh, so then my next process is, I'm going to do it over here, but because of the uh, the size of the, the pillar, I'm actually going to make it four out and one up. And that's fine. It's not a big issue. Three out, four up. They're, they're still going to create a consistent curve all the way around. Here is the corkscrew that we were working on earlier. Uh, I remember I had the example that was here that was a three out, one up. This is a four out, one up. Um, and when you saw the three out, one up, it was a really smooth, consistent uh, transition up each time. Because I've changed the recipe and gone to a, a, a four out, one up, you can see there's a little bit of a slump that occurs in the way the train track there's a it's hard to see from a close-up but it's not perfect um, but we have this beautiful uh, we use the rock here as part of the uh, um, to, as a centerpiece for the uh, corkscrew now I could have easily just built a corkscrew on the ground and gone straight up but it this gives you some aesthetic style to your building. Uh, we are yet to actually get a train running on it. You can see I left the trains here as well. I even left the local resident alone, the yellow power slug. We'll leave them there. They can uh, enjoy the noisy train going past all the time. And this continues to go up uh, a bit more. It does get a, like, the foundation frames are nice, they can. They're better than just solid concrete. There's other ways I could have done it to tidy it, but I didn't want to get too complicated in a stream, uh, especially a tutorial series. But you can see how it gets us up to here, and then from here we have a, like a, a kind of bridge, an arch bridge that uh, connects into the rock because that's my where I do the turn point and head over to the train station that's near the uranium node there, which will be part later explained when we do the 
actual um, the final of the nuclear power. Um, and sometimes when you incorporate the uh, nature in your builds, you come across some challenges like this. And you know what's really nice? Is I didn't plan this at all, but we have a perfectly unclipped train going through the landscape. Uh, so it's these sorts of things that you can really enjoy in the game um, by using the landscape and not just building standard square factories like uh, or or just you know I could have like I said I could have just done the corkscrew there and just gone straight up. It was, still would have looked impressive, but this is a nicer look, I think. And as you can see, a beautiful uh, structure. And as the sun comes through, it gets a really nice, some really nice effects. But that's it.